This is a continuation, a part four continuation to the other videos you've been working with, the putting it all together. In the last video, you learned about Connect and EJS and how to retrieve data from a SQLite database and display that data in an EJS form. This video will actually show you how to delete a record out of a SQLite database. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come back into my index.ejs file and currently we have a table header and a row for that header and we said that there's four different uh, headers that we're going to work with. The student ID, the first name, last name, and receive email. I'm going to add one more header and it's just going to be an empty header so I'm not going to put anything inside of that. And then I'm going to scroll down into the body and for every single record that we pulled off out of our SQLite database, we store it into our student variable, which uh, is an array of data. And we then pulled off each record or each row from that array and then access the attributes associated with each element. We showed the student ID, the first name, last name, and email. I'm going to add one more column and this column is going to hold a delete button. So I'm going to go ahead and paste in that code and then we'll talk about it. And I'm going to go ahead and minimize that so you can see hopefully uh, all the code that I just pasted in. I left it blue and so in that for loop I added a new column using our tdhtml tag and in that column let me pull this back a little bit for you. I created a form. And remember, you can have multiple forms in one uh, EJS or HTML page. And so I put a form action in there. And the reason we needed a form is because I have to specify what type of method that form is going to use if we ever click on this button, this submit button, which I named delete. And this submit button says, go find what method you are, which in our case is a post, and then go find the action you're going to use. Now remember, the difference between a get method and a post method is that get method takes the data from the form and builds that into the URL, and that's displayable in that URL in your browser. Our post is just going to hide that and send the data back over to our server. And then it's going to look for an action method called delete and that action method called delete is going to receive a parameter and that parameter using EJS scripting is going to be the student ID for whatever record that button is sitting on and I think when we run this you'll see what I mean by that and so this will pull the student ID from that array of data and pass that as a parameter to that action method delete student and it will go find the app.post method in the server so let's go over to the server and we need to actually write that app.post method so here's our server file and remember the last thing we did is that we did an app.get for our root directory which is our index.ejs and we did our connect which grabbed the student ID first name last name and email and we sorted it and then we passed it as a variable to um, at least we called our variable over here we said then a student and then we passed that to this next line and we called our parameter back on the form over here on the index EJS we called that student also you could have called it anything but we called our student and then this student right here is the result from that connect statement so we said take the result of the connect statement and pass it to a variable back on the index EGS form also called student and if it didn't find it then we displayed an error and we returned a 500 status remember RES that's the response back to the browser so we said send a response to the browser and let's render that index EJS file. That was what we wrote before. And if you don't remember that, go back and watch part three. So now what we have to do is write our app.post. And we have to write our delete 
action method that we have over here. See that delete student? So we need to write a delete student app post method in our server file. I just posted that in. Uh, remember that app is our express object and we said we're going to use a post method and then here's the route name for that post method. It's delete student with some parameter. I call this parameter ID and that's what that colon means is that we're passing a parameter to it and we said it's the ID parameter. So back over here when we pass the student ID using our EJS scripting on that action method we're actually passing the number or that student ID from the record and that will go into the variable ID. We then do an arrow function. We could have typed the word function if we wanted to there, but we're doing an arrow function and sending that data to this next block of code. And this next block of code starts here and goes all the way down here. In this block of code, we're going to use connect again. And we're going to use a connect statement to, to build some SQL to go and delete a record. And the way you do it is you say connect. What table do you want to work with? And we're going to go find a record where the student ID field in the student table is equal to the request that we received from the browser. And remember, the request we received from the browser has data inside of it. It gathers all the data from the form and passes that to the request in a parameters attribute. And then you simply say, we're trying to grab the ID right here. See that ID? We're trying to grab the ID out of the request, not student ID. That's what we passed over here. We said the name of that parameter is ID. So we're grabbing the ID out of the parameters from the request. And if we can find that record, then we're going to go ahead and delete it. And then we're going to send the result, which is going to be all the records that we're still working with, back to some variable. We called it student. And we're going to redirect the response back to the root directory. So let's see what happens. We'll save all this. We'll come back to our terminal window. We'll start the node server. And then we'll come back to our index EJS. We'll say go live. We'll get our little error here, but that's okay because we're going to type in localhost 3000. Remember we said the port was 3000. And notice what happens. For every record that we have, we added an empty header column. Remember we didn't add a value there. Let me go back over here real fast and show you. We said have an empty column, but below that we're going to add a delete button for every single record. And that's what happens right here. We said for every column we're going to add a form which adds a button that says delete. And if they click on that button we're going to go to the delete student route and we're going to pass it whatever the ID is for that record. So we're going to go find an app post in our server file. So when I click on delete, like if I clicked on Mary Lamb, we would pass the number two and it's not this column we're passing. It's this value right there. We're displaying that value there. We didn't have to display it but we're passing the value right here. And so it comes over to here. It tries to find an app post. Can't find one, can't find one. I found one. Is it a delete student? It is. Did it receive a parameter? Yes. Use that parameter, which has a value of two, and go search the table. If you find it, delete it, send the results to student, and redirect to home. So let's come back to our web page. If I delete Mary Lamb, let's see what happens. The record's gone. Return the results back to the web page, the home page, display them. And that's how a delete works.